Right, hello everybody and welcome. Thanks for watching. So as a few of you have been following on Facebook. Now, sorry I'm not in the video. Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> See the beard? What do you think of the beard? Right. So, I'll tell you now. I had to flip and dismantle this thing. And take the camera back out. Again. I turned it on. I flipped and powered it up and turned it on. And... I was getting no video feed. I mean, what is going on here? Had to pull it apart again. Turned out it broke the yellow uh, video cable coming from the wee small camera down onto the uh, transmitter. As you can see, there's the FPV camera there. Mounted it neatly in the front. I'm sorry, but I'm shaking here. I'm resting my arm. Mounted it in the front. Everything's up in the plate out of the way. Still plenty of room for vibration. Nothing's touching. I come round. I have no sh shroud on or nothing. There's the shroud there. Uh, I'm not going. I don't need to put that on. I maybe need to put a notch in it if I'm going to put this on. But I'll not bother for now. There's the wee small antenna just hanging at the back. The wee five point eight, and as you can see, the gimbal doesn't hit it. It's just hanging there. So once the legs are up, it's sort of more or less just. Uh, it's not in a great spot, but look. I know this isn't going to get me out far anyway, so I'm not going to worry or fight about it too much. This camera is crap on this phone for focusing on video. Ah, shit. Right, so anyway, like I told you, I turned it on a minute ago. Well, just before I got my dinner. I turned it on, and I was getting no flipping video. Hear me, ah, oh, what is going on? Because it was working on the bench. Turned out I broke a cable. I had to pull it, pull it apart and get a cable, so. I'm not going to bother turning on the ST16. I can't be bothered with that, but this is the first test that should work. <laughs> so we'll power it up. And you can see already there's wee lights flashing in there. As the it flashes dependent, I can still get them in my thumb and push the wee switch to change the channel on it. And the coloured lights flashing depending on what way they flash. Red, green, or green and red, and uh, red, red, green, green, black. It, it, it denotes the camera channel by the colour of flashing of the LED. Only 25 milliwatt in there, powered with the V26 volt, uh, the 3 volt uh, BEC down, which powers the camera, then, and the FPV transmitter. Everything manages to fit up in the top plate nicely. I'll maybe get around to it. I might uh, change and stick a pigtail on and stick a wee circular polarised antenna on the back rather than the wee dipole but for now for test purposes it will only be using the dipole and we'll see, I'll not do a full range test but if I can get out to about 100, 200 metres or so well, I'm hoping for about 300 metres with it but that'll be a push, that'll be a big ask maybe if I change the antennas I might get that right, moment of truth, there's the monitor obviously this would be mounted on a stand so we'll turn it on and we'll see Ta-da! Oh, it's working! <laughs> there we are. Hello! Can you hear me alright? Can you see me, guys? Where are we? Hey, how's it going? I hope you're all keeping well. So we've got FPV video feed. Obviously, you can see at the top of the screen there, the bit of black, but it's not really in view. Nice wide angle. As well, you can see the whole of the shed look there, really pretty wide angle. Uh, so, there, so you can see this bit the mount, you can see a wee hair of that in the video there, but we'll not worry about that. And obviously, as you bank a roll or pitch and uh, yaw and do whatever, obviously, uh. The camera's going to follow every single move now. It's not stabilised or nothing. It's in there. Uh, so, But it's only for an FPV camera. And then I'll be able to mount this on. We'll be able to get two ST16s hooked up. And it should help. Flipping focus thing. And it should definitely help. And uh, It'll definitely help then with uh, two-man operations. On the unique Typhoon H. So there you go. It's not a bobby job. Nice and neat in there too. You wouldn't even see it. You wouldn't even know it was in there. You know. Uh, thingy, what do you call him? Uh, I can't remember his name now. 
Somebody mentioned about putting the camera in here, but then the problem is if you put the camera in here, unless you put some sort of angle on it, it's going to be pointing down. You know, it means whenever you're flying forward, it's going to be pointing towards the ground more than just with the angle of the attack. Whereas there, the camera, now it's hard to see here. The camera has got a slight angle, let's see it there. Just pointing up ever so slightly. Flipping stupid thing won't focus. Won't focus. But it's pointing up ever so slightly. But it's a nice wide fish eye lens. And, uh... There you go, that's it. FPV uh, camera now on the unique Typhoon H. And all the parts are pretty cheap and easy enough bought. Uh, so hopefully maybe over the course of this week now, I'll get there on a test and I'll come back to you guys and let you know what sort of range to expect if you were to make something like this. Or do something like this. Like I say, there's the antenna at the back. But uh, we'll get back to you later on in the week here with uh, an update progress report and let you know uh, what sort of range we've got out of it. Right, guys, all the best. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. Fly safe. And we'll get you later on. Cheerio. Bye-bye.